What is up, beautiful people of the world? I just wanted to come on and talk about our trying to conceive journey. Last night was a very interesting night. We sat down and had a conversation about where we see all this going. It's kind of taking a little while. And I really, 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 really want us to have a baby. And in our discussion last night was like to the point of where maybe, maybe our relationship wouldn't work um, if we don't end up getting pregnant. And waking up this morning, I feel like that's not the case. And that was the wrong choice of words because I love, 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 love my girlfriend with all of my heart. And I do want her and I to raise kids together. And I'm just thinking about it right now on my way to work and just thinking how this is all part of the process, right? It's gonna be hard. It is hard. It's hard so far. We are now in March. We started back in uh, November and it's been difficult. Uh, just a number of things, learning and growing pains. And the number one thing I must say is a learning pain is um, not being able to figure out when ovulation is. See, we started temping this past cycle, but then I realized that temping just tells you when ovulation has already happened. <laughs> and we wanna know before. And then our donor has this theory that right after you're done bleeding, sorry to be graphic, but right after you're done with your period and bleeding, that last day is your first day of your window. That's what he believes, it's your first day of your ovulation window and he believes there's about seven days within that window because three of the days your egg is giving you signals and dropping and staying and going away so that's what i have tried this cycle so march um fourth and march 8th and i wanted to do uh inseminate again but didn't get a chance to so i don't know if that window is closed I'm still trying to do OPK tests, which the day before yesterday, I had a very positive one, which is just hard, which means that my window could probably be closed now. <laughs> so now it's my girlfriend's window and she just stopped her period. And so according to his theory, if we do it now, today, through the next seven days, every other day, then hopefully she could get pregnant. But I just wanted to come on and talk about how the process could be a little discouraging. It could make you a little sad. It could make you disappointed. And to try not to let that get the better of you. See, we have not yet to go to a doctor's or anything. We've just been trying to do it on our own. I think now we've been trying for almost about six months that we should probably go to a doctor and see what they say because maybe we need to take something to regulate ourselves, which I am buying some Vitex, which is an herbal supplement to help regulate your cycle. And also I'm gonna buy some ESO flavoring something. I don't know, I'll post a picture here. Yeah, so those are the two things that I'm gonna buy to help regulate the flow because my flow has been out of whack and I think it's because I've been working out so much. So I cut down on my workouts last month and I'm still trying to keep them low this month, but it's really hard for me because I love to work out. So those are the different things we're gonna try. I'm gonna try those herbal supplements and we'll see how it goes and hopefully by June we can get it. I'm hoping this last cycle I got it, but we'll see. It's really hard to say, you know, because you don't feel some immediate kind of uh, action you know I mean you have to wait a couple weeks and then figure it out but yeah so I just wanted to come on and give that update talk about our trying to conceive uh, this is probably vlog number four or five anyway I just want to thank you guys for watching and if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe and once again don't get discouraged just keep on going on your journey it will happen and I know it's gonna happen for us too and have a great day. Bye.